Ideally, if you want to ship a golf bag, you're going to want a golf bag box. A perfect size box would fit, but most people don't have a, a perfect size box. So we're going to improvise and we're gonna be doing what's called the telescoping box method. Essentially, the telescoping box method is taking smaller boxes, stacking them up to create a telescoping box to use as one big shipping box. It'll make more sense the farther we get into the video. If you're like me, you have Walmart around the corner. That's how we're improvising. You're gonna need a couple of these small 14 by 14 by 12 boxes. These were 78 cents at Walmart. We got a stack of them here. I think we're gonna be using three of them would be my guess. First step, grab your box, fold the box, and create your bottom. You're gonna take your teeth, Take a couple more pieces of tape, run them along the bottom to really reinforce the bottom. So here we have the bottom of our box that we're making. We're gonna take the golf club bag and place it in there. And as you can see, it's a pretty good fit. This is where the magic happens with the telescoping box method. You take it, you go over the product, and then you push all four sides in and then press it down as far as it can go. Then we're gonna take our tape again and going around the entire box. As you can see, it essentially made a taller box because all of the boxes are the same. We're able to telescope them. Now we're going to take another box, open it up, do the same thing. So all four sides of this are going down into the next box. You can press down or pull up to micro adjust your box height until you get to the height of the bag. So that's where we're going to tape our third box. Same thing, get the piece of tape on the, about half of the flap. You can see that the golf bag would be able to move around and this guy paid $160 for this. I don't think he'd be happy if he just got it like this. So we're going to secure it so it doesn't move during shipment. It is pretty durable, so I'm not going to bubble wrap the actual bag. I'm just going to fill in the spaces with what's called void fill or with dunnage. So what you can use for void fill is like craft paper, take some of that, put it around the sides. And what you're really wanting to do is get enough of it around the bag so it doesn't shift. As you can see, it's already more stable just with one piece in there like that. And I'm gonna take another piece, put it in there. You could also use a bunch of packing pillows around it to secure it. Worst comes to worst, you could actually use a lot of bubble wrap to hold the golf bag in place. I'm actually going to put a piece of this quilted pillow on top so when it closes, it'll actually protect the top a little bit. It'll show a little bit more effort, I guess, when the guy opens the box. And we're gonna tape the top. Rather than just having one piece, I do like to put at least three, and I'm actually going to go all the way around. I went all the way around the box twice, creating three pieces of tape on top. The integrity of this package is actually really good for being technically like a Franken box. It looks pretty presentable and you're gonna be able to get accurate dimensions when you measure it out for your shipping rates. And because this package is so big, you're probably not going to wanna use a shipping service like USPS. You're going to want to use a FedEx or a UPS, but you're not gonna to wanna to do it standing in line at UPS or FedEx because then you'll get your worst rate possible. You're gonna wanna buy it through a discounted carrier. So if you sold it on eBay, you're probably gonna wanna buy it off eBay. If you sold it on Mercari, use the Mercari label. If you sold it on Facebook Marketplace, use the Facebook Marketplace label. If you're just sending it to a friend or family member, then you're gonna have to use a third-party site such as Parcel Monkey, and then you'll get some like corporate negotiated discounted rates. Going to the post office, walking into FedEx, UPS is gonna be your worst rate that you get. Hopefully this helps. This isn't the only way to do this. You could also use a U-Haul box specifically for golf clubs. I think they have a sporting goods box, but I just thought it was convenient. Walmart was around the corner. I figured I'd show the telescoping box trick to people. So thank you for watching it. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.